Hi there, and welcome to Start's inaugural YouTube video. My name's Gavin, and today we're going to be unboxing Ultimate Masters, and I just hit my camera. <laughs> I'm going to do that one more time. Today we're going to be unboxing Magic the Gathering Ultimate Masters. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's get a good look at the box. So there's a lot of speculation about the art. Oh, okay, that's awful. We're not going to do that. <laughs> so let's start out with the the box itself. There was a lot of speculation about the art on this box. I think the consensus was that it was Dig Through Time from Concept of Tarkir. Uh, as you can see, it's still sealed. We haven't even broke the packaging yet. So let's go ahead and break this open and see what we got. Do the transfer. <laughs> and let's take a look at those packs. Alright, so first and foremost we have the ultimate box topper. We're gonna go ahead and save that for last. We'll go ahead and set those there and we'll start off with Karn right here. Alright, so right away we have a fairy rogue token. That's gonna be useful if we get a bitter blossom in there. We have a foil mirror servitor and a mana vault. Let's go for our first rare. It's a mythic. Forbidden Alchemy, a Snake Umbra, Stitch to Drake, Tetramorphic Expanse, Deraged Assistant for those of you wanting to meal yourselves out, a Spider Umbra, Basking Root Wallop, pretty useful if you're playing Madness. We can turn it down just a hair. It was it was pretty glaring pretty bad and it was pretty blurry. Um, um, edit that part out. All right, we'll start with our second pack, a Liliana of the Veil. This one does not want to come open. Hopefully that means that there's something good inside. We have an elemental token. Some very nice art there. A foil rune snag, very pretty. We have a Talran Sky Summoner. Stream of Consciousness, Become Immense. Golgari Charm, Whirlwind Adept out of Tarkir. Kanker Abomination. Frantic Search. Hey, that kind of looks like me. <laughs> An Eel Umbra, Crushing Canopy, Slum Reaper, Hooting Mandrills, Tethmos High Priest, Akroan Crusader, and a Mammoth Umbra. Another elemental token, Foil Boneyard Worm, a Golgari Grave Troll. So we'll see if there's any updates in the ban list regarding that. Miraculous Recovery, Golgari Thug, Iliad's Pilgrim, another Ulamog's Crusher, Faithless Looting, for anyone building Hollow One, God's Willing, Moan of the Unhallowed, Staunch Hearted Warrior, Prey Upon, another Tetramorphic Expanse. Another deranged assistant, fiery temper, and an anger. We have a spider token, sky spear cavalry for our foil. We have Tazigar, the golden fang, mage ring network, angel of despair, furnace celebration, reckless worm, just the wind, faith's fetters, a wild mongrel, a foil, ghoul caller's accomplice, prey upon, a non foil sky spear cavalry, raid bombardment, and a beckon apparition. Vessel of Endless Rest, Nourishing Shoal, we've got Circular Logic, Rogue's Passage, Urban Evolution, another Stitch Strip, Treasure Cruise, Scuzzback Marauders, Spider Umbra, an Unholy Hunger, Fume Spitter, Golgari Brown Scale, an Ingot Chewer, Rakdos Shred Freak, and a Lotus Eye Mystics. Alright, we have a Citizen Token as our token, Foil Slum Reaper, Life from the Loam, very, very popular in Dredge decks, Ancestors Chosen, Prismatic Lens, Another Boneyard Worm, a Hissing Iguana, Think Twice, Death Denied, a Sanitarium Skeleton, Verdant Eidolon, Gurmag Angler, Repel the Darkness, another Raid Bombardment, a Demir Guild Mage, and a Resurrection. Alright, so I went ahead and opened this Karn, but we had some technical difficulties and it didn't end up as way out of focus. Oh, it's a secret! What? <laughs> <laughs> What's secret? I don't know! The difficulties are the secret. Oh, okay. We didn't. We didn't have any technical difficulties <laughs> relating to Ty not charging the batteries. Didn't have any of those at all. Uh, all right, hold it to your comfy spot. We've got a token ooze. We've got a swift reckoning, a counter squall, a bitter blossom. Bitter blossom was a popular card in days past. 
uh, but has since kind of fallen out of favor. We got a Foil Devoted Druid, a Sleight of Hand, very popular in Storm decks, an Aether Snipe, a Mad Prophet, a Just the Wind, a Crow of Dark Tidings, a Miming Slime, a Pulse of Marasa, a, another Cool Colors Accomplice, another Crow and Crusader, a Martyr of Sands, and an Undying Rage. Crack that open. Zombie Token, a Heap Doll, an Eldrazi Conscription, a Murderous Red Cat, a Swift Reckoning, a Garn of the Blood Flame, a Whirlwind Adept, a Canker Abomination, a Rune Snag, Crow of Dark Tidings, Defy Gravity with some very nice art by Ben Thompson, Walker of the Grove, another God's Willing, another Crow and Crusader, some Lotus Eye Mystics, and an Icacian Crier. We have a Homunculus Token, a Tethmos High Priest as our foil, a Desolate Lighthouse as our rare, a Mistville Plains, a Hero of Lena Tower, Rally the Peasants, Mad Prophet, Think Twice, a Wingsteed Rider, a Slum Reaper, a Hooting Mandrels, Twins of Mar Estate, Sanitarium Skeleton, a Molten Birth, a Racto Shred Freak, and a Mammoth Umbra. Alright, let me ask my cameraman Ty. Ty, should we get Vengevine or another Liliana next? Liliana? Here's another Liliana pack. We're gonna go ahead and get this open and see what we have inside. We have a Spark Elemental as our token. Ooh, a Foil Slippery Bogle. Engineered Explosives, a very anticipated reprint, a Shriek Maw, a Plume Veil, Malevolent Whispers, a Wingsteed Rider, Flight of Fancy, a Cathodion, another Basking Root Walla, we have a Fume Spitter, Patchwork Gnomes, another Faithless Looting, a Vessel of Endless Rest, a Conviction, and a Generator Servant. Right off the bat, we have a Drake Token, Heliod's Pilgrim as our foil, a Back to Basics for our rare, Dawn's Charm, a Phalanx Leader, an Iridescent Drake, Adjust the Wind, a Satyr Wayf Wayfinder, a Skywing Aven, Kodama's Reach, Twins of Mara Estate, another Defy Gravity, Staunch Hearted Warrior, Safe Hold Elite, Lotus Eye Mystics, a Double Cleave, Wall of Reverence, Vengeful Rebirth, Ghoul Steed, Sigil of the New Dawn, Flight of Fancy, Cathodion, Verdant Eidolon, Olivia's Dragoon, Groundskeeper, Awful Snap, Soul's Fire, a Safe Hold Elite, a Conviction, and another Reckless Charge for our last card. Alright, we have another one of those beautiful uh, ox like elemental tokens. We have a Thermo Alchemist for our uh, foil, Ancient Tomb for our rare, very nice. An Eternal Witness, Buried Alive, one of the first person Innistrad arts, Penumbra Worm, a Wingsteed Rider, a Rune Snag, a Canker Abomination, a Wild Mongrel, another Defy Gravity, Twins of Mara Estate, a Ronam Unicorn, a Soul's Fire, another Double Cleave, and an Angelic Renewal. Black Worm token with Trample as our token. A Foil Spark Spitter. Visions of Beyond, my favorite magic art ever by Therese Nielsen. Fecundity, that's not a bad word despite what it sounds like. Brawn, Living Lore, a Stitcher's Apprentice, another Seder Wayfinder, another Frantic Search, Patchwork Gnomes, Kodama's Reach, Mark of the Vampire, an Eel Umbra, a Demir Guildmate, uh, Guildmage, another Angelic Renewal, and a Non-Foil Thermo Alchemist. Token, a foil pulse of Marasa, creeping tar pit as our rare. Appetite for brains. Blast of genius. Rise from the tides. A stitcher's apprentice. A hissing iguanar. Walker of the grove. Another Gurmag angler. Another foil. Verdant Eidolon. Raid bombardment. Shielding plaques. Another acacian crier. And a non-foil spark spitter. Let's see what we've got inside. We've got another elemental. We have a foil blood flow connoisseur. Flagstones of Trocaire. Desperate Ritual, also very popular in storm decks. A Penumbra Worm. Dakmore Salvage. Our first split card. Fire and Ice. A Stitcher's Apprentice. A Reckless Worm. Olivia's Dragoon. Another Awful Snout. Shed Weakness. Another Shielding Plax. Wandering Champion. Arena Athlete. A Mere Servitor. Alright, we've got another Black Zombie Token. Oil Frantic Search. Entomb for our rare. We've got a very nice Lava Spike. Brazen Scourge. Unburial Rites. Another Whirlwind Adept. Hyena Umbra. Slum Reaper. Wickerbow Elder. Grave Scrambler. Sanitarium Skeleton. Another Repel the Darkness. Another Wandering Champion. A Molten Birth. Turn to Mist. Alright, here's a third of our Vengevine Trio. We have a Spirit, a Foil Mad Prophet, Bridge from Below for our rare, Kitchen Finks, Young Pyromancer, very popular in modern right now, Reviving Vapors, another Fire and Ice, an Archaeomancer, Hissing Iguanar, Crushing Canopy, a Last Gasp, Death Denied, Vessel of Endless Rest, Tethmos High Priest, an Arena Athlete, and a Shielding Plax. Ooze Token, we have a Foil Ghoul Steed, Seize the Day as our rare, Fiend Hunter, Shirei Shizo's Caretaker, Travel Preparations, another Archaeomancer, another Hyena Umbra, Dark Dabbling, another Wickerbow Wicker Bow El Elder, it's hard to say, Mark of the Vampire, Golgari Brownscale, a Ronom Unicorn, an Ingot Chewer, another Demir Guildmage, and a Mammoth Umbra. 
Fighter Token, Foil Crushing Canopy, Woodfall Primus, a Dreamscape Artist, Prismatic Lens, Spirit Cairn, another Frantic Search, another Fire and Ice, a Flight of Fancy, a Non-Foil Crushing Canopy, in Olivia's Dragoon, Shed Weakness, Patchwork Gnomes, a Rodom Unicorn, and a Faithless Loot. Oh, a Faithless Looting, and a Safe Hold Elite. We have a Zombie Token, a Foil Mark of the Vampire. It's very nice. Ooh, a Phyrexian Altar. A great, great card. Songs of the Damned, Chainer's Edict, Hero of Iroas, a Sultai Skullkeeper, Faith's Fetters, a Skywing Aven, another Basking Rootwalla, Dark Dabbling, Hooting Mandrels, another Bloodflow Connoisseur, Resurrection, Nightbird's Clutches, and a Mere Servitor. Ooh, a Foil Revelark. Very nice. Pattern of Rebirth, Meringue River Prowler, a Boar Umbra, Apprentice Necromancer, another Sultai Skullkeeper, Fiery Temper, another Aether Snipe, Pulse of Maraza, Moan of the Unhallowed, a Miming Slime, a Thermo Alchemist, a Double Cleave, a Heliod's Pilgrim, a Nightbird's Clutches, a L uh, Lotus Eye Mystics in foil. You can actually see the lotuses very nicely in the foil version. Fulminator Mage is our rare. Stream of Consciousness, Mystic Retrieval, Conflagrate, very, very common in dredge decks. Satyr Wayfinder, another Sultai Skullkeeper, Death Denied, Kodama's Reach, another uh, Awful Snout, an Eel Umbra, Conviction, Generator Servant, Beckon Apparition, and a Sky Spear Cavalry. Alright, and here we have the last pack with uh, Liliana as the art. Let's see what we got. A Foil Stitcher's Apprentice. A Magus of the Bazaar, another Heap Doll, a Brazen Scourge, Wild Hunger, Scuzzback Marauders, another Treasure Cruise, Unholy Hunger, Bloodflow Connoisseur, Last Gasp, Turn to Mist, Tethmos High Priest, a Spark Spitter, and another Martyr of Sands. Alright, we'll get this all cleared off and then we'll go ahead and we'll move on to that ultimate box topper. Here it is, they come in this nice blue packaging. But uh, not as nice as what's going to be inside, so let's crack her open. Ty, when you edit this, can you put a drum roll in? Uh, yes. I was either that or, or the Zelda. <laughs> that might be copyrighted. Alright. And we have a temporal manipulation. Very nice. Beautiful foiling on these with a unique extended art. Alright. And that was the Ultimate Masters box. And I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> uh, great value there. Uh, I mean, the box is shaped like a treasure chest, and that's kind of what you're getting into, especially with that Ultimate Box topper. Uh, I hope you guys had a great time watching, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait.